Hi, I'm Mike Swanbaum. This problem that I'm about to do is actually inspired by a problem that someone approached me with. They wanted to use the power from the alternator of their car to produce hydrogen to mix in with their gasoline stream into their engine and therefore uh, supposedly improve the efficiency of their engine. And I was curious when they asked me about that, uh, how much energy would it take to make that hydrogen in the first place? And that's what this problem basically uh, kind of gives us in the form of how many amps of current would it take out of the alternator. So here it is. We want your car to produce hydrogen gas. Uh, you're trying to produce it using the electrical current from the alternator and you're going to produce 0.18 grams of hydrogen per minute. And we need to figure out the electrical current required from the alternator to be able to do that. So uh, here's how that works. We need 0.18 grams per minute. So let's just go ahead and put that on here real quick. 0.18 grams per minute. Okay. Uh, the, maybe the first thing for us to deal with is the time issue. Uh, for us to get into something like amperes, we're probably going to want this minutes in seconds. So I'm going to put this in here where I put 60 seconds down here for every minute. So I'll deal with that first. The next thing is we need to know uh, how to get to moles uh, for this and for, for hydrogen. Hydrogen is interesting because it is just a value of one gram per mole. So we'll put that in here uh, at like this where we actually put the mole in the numerator and the gram in the denominator. Okay. Uh, that's a piece of information that you can look up off of a periodic table. The next piece of information is to go from moles to an actual number of these uh, hydrogen atoms. Okay, so we would have uh, 6.022 times 10 to, to the 23rd. That is Avogadro's number. And so that's how we go from, uh, from moles to an actual number. And that's in one mole. Okay, the next thing we need to do is uh, use this idea that we know this uh, reaction that takes place that electrolyzes that hydrogen in the first place. And we notice that there is a ratio of two to two, basically, or one to one is another way to say the same thing, two electrons for every two hydrogen atoms. And so um, we don't need to do anything special as far as doing a multiplier. There's just for every electron there is uh, a hydrogen atom. So that means that the number of, of hydrogen atoms is the same as the number of electrons and therefore if we count up electrons and 6.24 times 10 to the 18th electrons is what gives us a coulomb. This is a multiplier we can use to go to coulombs and if we actually start looking at the units here uh, what we find is that we can cancel minutes, uh, we can cancel moles, we can cancel grams, uh, and what we will find is that our units end up being coulombs per second. Well, that is just an ampere. We could even put down here ampere over coulomb per second. And if we do that, then that allows us to cancel the seconds and the coulombs. And that just gives us amperes. So, when we plug all of these things into the calculator, we end up with 0.18 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And I think that's everything in the numerator. Next, we'll put the things in the denominator. Divide by 60 times 6.24 times 10 to the 18th. And when we hit equals here, we should get 289.52 or so. And that would be in amperes. So what would we pick? We would pick 289.5 amperes. That's quite a bit of current and so I'm not sure that this would be a great idea if that's the number of grams of hydrogen that you would want to try to produce to put into your car's fuel stream. 
So maybe that helps answer that question. I hope this has been valuable. If it has, please give me a like and please keep watching my channel.